talk! How many times are you gonna try this, Chase? I cannot talk. Welcome to How to Be Seen on the Internet. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a very long time now, and I'm talking about like a very long time now. There's videos all across the internet, especially YouTube, of how to do this, but it's time to cut. Get it? These are hands down what I think what you need to be seen on the internet. Take what I say with a grain of salt. This is honestly what I think is how you can be seen on the internet. And you might be asking why am I not big because of these things? Because I just haven't implemented them into my life and how I go about the internet. And when I say internet, I'm, I'm talking about like social medias and stuff like that. So I'm talking YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Now these things I'm about to say mostly go hand in hand with YouTube and Instagram. But I guess you can apply them to anything else. I just haven't, but I don't know. Let, let's get right into it. All right, before I give any of the uh, information, this is in no particular order. And the reason being is because I don't know what is more important because they are all damn important. You don't have to implement every single one of these, but if you do, I really can't see you failing and you will be seen on the internet and you will grow a bigger social media following, whether that's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, any of those. So number one, without order, you have to make people wow. What do I mean by wow? I mean, you have to make people when they're watching the video literally go wow. Now they literally don't have to say wow out loud, you know, not many people literally do that. So when someone's watching a video, they need to be entertained somehow. They need to watch something. They need a wow factor. A couple ways to do this is just be attractive. Honestly, it seems like the people that are really, really attractive have really good following. People like attractive people. I'm talking about the attractive people that break all barriers, no matter what your preference is of a type of person, everyone just knows they're good looking. Another wow factor could be traveling if you're out on the grand canyon for example looking at the, the vast colors and everything you're filming all that that's that's a wow factor you know what i mean not everyone has that in their backyard not everyone can see that so they see that and they go wow another way could you be insightful you know what i mean bring something to the table teach somebody something whether it's how to do something with cameras how to play an instrument literally this as long as you're able to teach somebody something people will watch your videos. And finally, a, a last example of this wow factor is could be anything with talent. You could be a musician and you could play music and you can sing and people watch you and they go, wow, that person's got a great voice or wow, that person can play an instrument incredibly well. Knows it, Chaz. Well, it doesn't even have to be musically related. I saw a guy the other day who just like makes puppets and they're awesome and he makes them dance. He's like, I don't know, I don't know what he does, but like they're cool as hell. All right, so he's talented with that. Number two, post every single day, bro. A lot of these social media, their algorithms, it, they tend to lean in favor towards people that post every single day. Why you might ask is because you're providing content for said social media. So for YouTube, for example, if you're posting every single day, YouTube almost wants to help you out and help you get your name out there because you're like scratching their back by putting content and they're scratching your back for like getting your name out there. You will be put on like the suggested list like on the side. And a great way to do this is vlog. I know everyone and their mother vlogs. Who cares if everyone does it? You just have to stick out above the crowd and do something different. Just be yourself. Instagram, this is a huge one. Post once or twice a day. One in the morning and one at night. I've come to realize posting around 12 o'clock in the afternoon perfect time people are at lunch people are in their cars going to lunch people are on break it's a good time to post another good time is anywhere from like 8 to like 10 o'clock at night people are they just got done eating dinner they're just kind of hanging out they're watching TV they're going through their phones it, it's a good time to post number three giveaways give away things people actually give a <laughs> you're gonna have to cough up some money to, to do this. Trust me, it's worth it in the end. The cameras, uh, maybe a paid trip to go somewhere. Literally, uh, offer to pay a ticket for someone's vacation. And a last one could be just like a phone, especially now when they're releasing a new iPhone. Everybody wants one. For the most part, from what I see, people gain a big following from it. Number four. Oh. 
be creative. I know I kind of said this before, but literally just be creative. Don't be so cookie cutter to what everyone does. And it's okay to do some things other people do. Like hell, right now I'm wearing glasses. I guarantee someone, if this video gets out there, someone's gonna comment and be like, oh, Casey, nice that, blah, blah. I look up to the guy. It's hard not to be somebody that you look up to. It's, it's, it's just hard, you know what I mean? What do you, what do you want from me? Mumbo number five. <laughs> Can't talk! Be yourself. And I know this is kind of like literally what I just said, but just be yourself. Never try to be somebody you're not because here's the thing. People look right through it. I try to be someone I'm not before on the internet and I, I got shit for it. Number six answer your followers this this is what a uh, big thing twitter how many times are you gonna try this chase how many times twitter is a great place for you to answer your fans i know it's hard to answer everyone especially if you have a big following but answer some it really really means the world to your the people that follow you when they comment below under your video or under your photo just take 10 minutes. I've commented on photos and videos of people that I look up to and they've answered and damn nearly gave me a heart attack. But like I said, just answer them in the comments. You know, it's not hard. Just like I said, take 10 minutes. Take an hour. You'll really, really get a lot done in an hour. You'll be surprised. Number seven. Good quality. A lot of cinematographers and photographers always say the best camera is the camera you have. While I agree to this to an extent, I don't. Like everything should be story driven and you don't need a fancy camera to create that story. But to this camera right now, I am filming on a 5D Mark II. This mother <laughs> cannot do slow motion it just it just can't and even when I slow it down in post it looks like sh I so therefore I cannot do slow motion now of course I can use my iPhone to to record slow motion and hell I can get 4k off this thing. but it it doesn't matter you know it's it the, the quality doesn't always match up and consistency is very very big with quality you don't want to have going from something that you're filming on like the best camera in the world to a potato just doesn't look good if you have 4k available do it we'll future proof your stuff so in years to come your stuff will still look awesome can't afford it that's okay work with what you got but always try to have the best quality you possibly can nobody's watching your stuff in in like 480 or whatever it is 240 I don't, I don't even know I don't go that low number eight growth hack your ass. What do I mean by growth hack? I literally mean post your stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Internet is so stupidly big. There are forums across hundreds and thousands of websites. Just post your stuff everywhere. Everywhere. No one's going to be able to find you because they don't know who you are. And, and so if you're constantly everywhere on the internet, people are going to click you. They're going to go, who the hell is this kid? He's everywhere. So post your stuff everywhere. Every social media you can imagine. Reddit is is great for this too. There's a little trick with Reddit. If you post something and you get 10 likes within, I think five or 10 minutes, something like that, it's shot to the top of whatever subreddit you're on. That's how one of my videos literally went pretty much viral. The, everyone saw it. It was at the top of the thing. Want to see that video? It's also in the link below. Check out my videos, you know. Another great way is Facebook groups. Facebook groups are literally designed for people that only give a <laughs> shit about one thing. So for instance, if there's a group called, I don't know, photographers in New York, post your shit <laughs> on there. People will watch it and possibly even want to collaborate with you. Who the f*** is <laughs> texting me while I'm recording? You might be asking why is this kid so hyped while filming this video at 10 o'clock at night? Coffee. That's literally it. Finally, a last way to growth hack yourself. Comment on other people's stuff. Don't beg. Don't be like, hey, please come back and let me know what you think of my channel. No one likes begging. Own your shit. You know what I mean? Just comment and just literally just be like, hey. Your stuff's awesome. Like bomb the shit out of their stuff 
they'll come back and be like, all right, who, who's this kid? And they'll go through your stuff. They really will. Think about it. If someone just liked all your photos, wouldn't you be like, all right, who is this? Number nine. Make people feel something. What I mean by this is have an emotion towards your video. This video, for example, is informative and entertaining. Give emotion to something, whether it's a picture, a, a tweet, or a YouTube video. Make your audience feel something, whether it's sad, happy, anything, any form of emotion, just make them feel that because it, whatever they feel, they'll want their friends to feel that too and they will send it to them and because people share things. That's just what we do. Number 10, don't give a I was being really, really, really dramatic there. It's entertaining. People like watching it. It's like watching a train wreck, I guess. You, you want to help, but you turn away. My camera battery's about to die! Number 11, tag your stuff right. If you use somebody's song in your YouTube video, put them in the description, put them at the end of the video. It really helps go a long way for the, those people that are creating that music because they'll want to send it to other people and go, oh, hey, look, this guy used my song and then other people watch it and maybe they'll want to subscribe. Also in photos on Instagram or Twitter, whatever, if you tag the people that are in the photo, they'll like it. The other people will see them that, that they liked it. The people that follow them see that they liked it and then maybe go to your page. If you tag correctly, it, it never hurts. So don't be that person that doesn't tag. Especially if you're a model, tag your photographer in the description under the photo. Put them under, it's just a little at sign and we're not asking for much. Not many people just click the photo to see what else is tagged. Maybe that's a photographer thing. I don't know, I do it. We're not asking for much, just, just right under there. Right under there. Right under there. Fuck! Number 12. Make a profile on everything. Seriously, like, make every social media, like I said. Make a YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, Facebook, Google Plus. I don't, I don't even know if people still do that. The advantage of making a profile on everything you possibly can. When someone Googles your name, it's what's called SEO. What that means basically when you type in your name, it comes up first. No one really goes past the second page on like Google. Hell, I don't even really go past the first page. Hell, I don't even go past like the first like half of the page. Make a profile on everything and the more you post on those things, the better your SEO will be. Number 13. Make a website. It gives a place for someone to go to and they can easily find all your other social medias instead of just Googling and just whatever and going down. So. And for those who don't code, that's all right. They have all these amazing companies like Squarespace, Wix, all those types of things where it's, it's literally like point and click, like in drag and drop. It's so simple. It really is. The only downside is you'll be paying like 20 something dollars a month. If you know how to code or if you want to learn how to code, there's videos literally everywhere on YouTube and there you can learn how to code. It's just a big hub of all your stuff. Especially if you're a photographer, you got to post your portfolio on there. Instagram, yeah, is great for that, but you could post way more stuff on your website. Find the link if you want to check out mine. A little clicky click on his website. Go check it out. Number 14, collaborate. Just with everyone you possibly can, even if they have less subscribers to you. I'm talking, to, if you have like 10,000 and then someone hits you up with, they only have like maybe like, I don't know, 200, just collaborate with them. It will mean the world to them and it can only help you. You get to meet like-minded people like yourself and it's, it's honestly great to have people like you around you. In a circle dancing i should just stop this video i can't talk really you should do that through all social medias it's like i said it can it can only help finally number 15 all or nothing literally all or nothing you cannot dip your feet into the waters of social media if you want results like quick it's all or nothing if it means quit your job then do it if you're really really dedicated you will get the following i I promise you, real, real serious talk right here. It is really, really, really hard to just go all or nothing. I am a perfect example of that. I started posting uh, two years ago. I wanted to make daily content. I wanted to make a daily vlog and I started posting and then I stopped. I stopped for a while and then I did it again when I went around the country 
on a road trip and then I stopped and because of that, I only have the amount of following that I do and the amount of views that I do. All joking aside, I'm being dead serious. You have to be all or nothing. I know this kind of sucks for especially the people that, you know, they have their school loans that they have to pay off or they have to make rent. Like, I, I, I get it. I really, really do. That shouldn't stop you from creating every single day. When you get done work, it might be like 11 o'clock at night. It's going to be tough. It really is. But I'm telling you, just record every single day hell take two weeks off and just record like for all those two weeks take as many pictures as you want collaborate with as many people as you can within those two weeks what are they what are they called staycations just create that's that's all i'm saying it's just create just non-stop create it's it's an all or nothing thing it's all a numbers game with all this stuff if you constantly post on everywhere you're gonna be seen it's it's gonna happen i hope you guys love that video if you did you know, smash that one. Take your foot and just. Smash it. So there you have it. There's 15 ways to be seen on the internet, and this is what I believe is the best ways to be seen. If you implement these to all social medias, you will be seen. The internet is all numbers, and if you're everywhere on the internet, posting constantly, you're gonna get seen. Like you just, there's no way in hell you won't. It just. It's not likely. If you guys have any other uh, ways to be seen on the internet, please comment down below because I would like to know for myself as well as I'm sure anyone else who's watching this video they want to know. I will be implementing these things in 2018 so if you don't believe me, uh, just follow my journey. If it works for me, it can work for you. It, re it really can. I don't even know how to end these. I never end my videos. <laughs>、quick for those who think they don't have the proper things to make a video I'm gonna show you my setup really quick ready look I have my iPad right there which the camera is on connected to a lap duct actually to duct tape to a laptop which is connected to my computer so I can see what the hell I was filming because this camera does not have a little tilt screen and also this is my lighting fixture over here which is has a paper towel over it so it's not such harsh light. And then here's my script, basically written on this whiteboard. That's my entire setup, and that took forever to set up. So if I can do it, you can do it.